A pipette is another accurate way of measuring liquids. This is a 25 ml pipette. It goes from 0 to 25. It's filled using one of these, a pipette filler. As you turn this wheel, anything, is suck, air is sucked up through here, and if it's pulling a liquid through, the liquid will come with it. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to put this pipette into this pipette filler. Be careful at this point, and this is something for your risk assessment. This is very thin glass here. You hold it by the top and you push in that way, and it requires some force. Do not hold like that. Do not, because this can snap and you could well cut yourself quite seriously. So you hold by the neck of the pipette filler and the pipette and push. And as you see, that's held firmly. We have some sodium hydroxide in this beaker here. What we're going to do is we're going to fill this until I get to 25 mil. Sorry, till I get to the naught line. I take this up. As you can see, I've stopped short. So what you will have to do is, when you do this, what you will have to do is, you will have to add, after you've got to there, I will put in, oh, I will put in, I press that, that comes out, and if we look here, I'm going down to 25, down, 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 gone down to 25, I haven't put in 25, I've put in 23, so I need an extra, oh, two mils, so I go to 20, oh, sorry, 23, and I add two mils. You're going to do it a lot more accurate, accurately than I just have there. So, we take this to one side, and we take out there a white tile. So I have in here 25 mils of sodium hydroxide. I have in here 50 mils of acid. We're now going to mix the two. There will be a chemical reaction. You may know what is formed by the reaction of an acid, and sodium hydroxide is an alkali. But first, so we can see what is happening in here, I'm going to add some indicator. Now this is a universal indicator. I add three or four drops of that, and I get a nice blue colour. Be different indicators, give different colours. Now what I do is, we'll lift this to a proper height. Be careful of knocking this glass against here. Again, this is fragile. What you do now is, the first experiment that you do, the first set of measurements that you do, is the rough measurements. So you gently turn this, and what I do, say count to three, four or five, stop and swirl. One, two, three, swirl. One, two, three, swirl. Now notice I'm not taking, I'm not paying any attention to how much acid I've used. None at all. All I'm doing is I'm looking at what is happening in my reaction vessel. While you're doing this, of course, you will be wearing your lab coat, but more importantly, you will be wearing your goggles. When there is a colour change, the white tile shows it up even more. Three, swirl. This is my rough example. Now, no, it doesn't matter which way I turn the tap. I can turn it that way. I can turn it that way. Doesn't matter. If I turn it ever so slightly, I can add my acid drop by drop. You see a hint of a colour change there. You are looking for a green colour. A green colour. If you don't get a green colour, it goes past green and goes to red, you've gone past the point of neutralisation. Drop and swirl. 
drop and swirl. And ooh, look at that, almost perfect. Possibly a bit too yellow, you're looking for green. And if I add a little bit more, there you go. That shows I now have acid. Now what you do is you write down the value here to the decimal point. So this allows you to go to this here would be a value of, you have to trust me on this one, 23.2 mils. You record it accurately. What you then do is you take your mixture here, you throw it down the sink, you wash out your glassware. And it's important that you wash out your glassware because you're using accurate volumes. You refill this, you put a fresh amount of alkali in, and you repeat the experiment until you get green. Recording all of your values, what I would suggest to you is that if you had 23.2 or 3 like I did, you add your acid very, very quickly until you get to 20, and then drop by drop add to get the perfect, perfect green colour, which will indicate you have a neutral solution.